have great news for you. You don't need to miss uh, bread on ketogenic diet because today with my mom's special uh, guest, Halinka, we are going to show you how to make keto-friendly dinner rolls. So, witamy. <laughs> witamy, witamy. Uh, we, as you know, we are from Poland, so don't be surprised when uh, we are going to talk as, uh, in Polish, okay? This recipe is perfect uh, not only for beginners who are looking for a keto regular uh, roll substitute, uh, but it's also for anyone who is craving uh, rolls uh, or any type of bread on keto diet. This recipe go fast, so let's get started. Let me first go over the ingredients. We have almond flour, ground psyllium husk. Um, I love I love this brand because um, I use it uh, in many recipes. Uh, check my other video how I make the naan. It's another bread recipe on the ketogenic diet. And I love this uh, product because it is uh, white in color and um, it's not changing the color of our food. So um, I will link the product below the video. And also psyllium has, uh, is a food thickener, so works perfectly in this recipe. We also have a boiled water, room temperature eggs, sea salt, uh, baking powder, apple, apple cider vinegar. The recipe will be posted uh, below the video if you wanna make it. All right, so my mom is going to mix uh, dry ingredients. Mancia, so first, well, she's uh, going to add the uh, uh, almond flour, the psyllium husk, a baking powder, and uh, the salt. Now she's um, mixing all ingredients together. Yeah, so we need to mix really, really well to combine all these ingredients together. It's okay. It's okay now. Okay, she's adding uh, uh, wet ingredients, apple cider vinegar, then um, three eggs. We have three eggs here. Now is boiled water. My mom is going to use electric mixer to combine all the ingredients. Okay. And uh, I forgot to tell you we need to first preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit degrees. So yeah. Mm -hmm. The consistency should look like this and you know you need to play a little bit with the ingredients because every product has a different uh, structure and uh, consistency so sometimes if the dough is too dry you need to add a little bit more of water or if it's too um, slimy you can add a little bit more of the uh, flour so you, you, you will figure it out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, now my mom will wet her hands uh, to uh, form the rolls. Trzeba dobrze właśnie tak upieścić te bułki. She is like uh, shaping the rolls. It's probably about uh, 12 uh, small rolls. Yeah, so it's beautiful. 
Mike uh, loves this uh, roll. So now she's shaping the rolls like uh, those are uh, mini rolls for dinner, but you can shape different, uh, you can form a different shape as well, whatever you like. With this uh, amount of ingredients, you should have uh, about 12 mini dinner rolls. Uh, just remember uh, wetting your head so the dough will not stick to your hands. So it's, it's, it's important. This is important step here. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot. Yeah, you can roll it like make the a ball, a shape, you can make it whatever you like. And I promise you, those um, rolls, those uh, buns are very delicious and you can use them either uh, to eat uh, as a sandwich or as a burger. You can shape and uh, uh, a longing shape so you can make even hot dogs, whatever you like. Extra. Okay, I really recommend them to, you, you can at least try and tell me below the video if you like the taste. We can also top those uh, rolls with uh, sesame seeds, uh, whatever you like. All right, so my mom will make them even resemble, she, she will make them even more looking like a re regular roll. Yeah. Oh, wow. Doesn't need to be even, it's just, just make whatever you like. All right, so now we are putting uh, the rolls to our oven for about 60 minutes or until uh, are getting brown on the top. Okay, we will see you in 60 minutes. Okay, wow, our rolls are ready. Look at them. Looks like a real rolls. Yes, uh, just uh, please make sure you cool them down before you serve. But you know what? I think this will taste even better if you toast them uh, before making some sandwiches. All right, the rolls are ready. Smell so delicious. Prawda, mama? Piękne wyszły. Yeah, they, they look like a real roll. So what you can do, you can eat uh, right away, but maybe it would be better if you just uh, cool them down for a little bit and uh, you can keep them in the uh, fridge for a um, couple of days. Uh, you can also freeze them, so you can make uh, batches and have for an entire month. Monia, to może pokażmy w środku, przekolim jaka jest pyszna. Właśnie wyszła naprawdę. Pysznie wygląda i jest smaczna. Tak, to yes, it's a good idea. My mom said let let's uh, cut in half and show you how the roll look inside. All right, mommy, so you can cut it. Oh, wow, wow, it's still hot, but is it not nice? Oh, I just brought it, maybe not All right. Jest pyszna, z mm -hmm. wędlinką, z różnymi pastami. Yeah, you can make it uh, sandwich with a ham. Yeah, those um, rolls are amazing. So I hope you guys will make it. Let me know what you think about this recipe. <laughs> and if you make it, please uh, make a comment. Uh, so uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. For being in my video. If you want my mom to be more often in my video, please comment as well. And it will be a pleasure to doing some uh, nice things with my mom as well because you know my mom inspired me with uh, many uh, recipes so she is also helping me to create uh, some content new recipes for you all right so thank you so much please uh, put um, 
thumbs up if you like my video if you like our video <laughs> yes so see you in the next one bye bye